Hey there, future warriors. Welcome back to your nerdy show. I'm your host, The Terminator. Today, we're diving deep into a time traveling tale that's as explosive as it is mind bending. We're talking about Terminator Zero, the prequel that explores the fateful day that changed the course of humanity. But let's be honest, the ending of this series is a total mind bender. It's like trying to untangle a knot of paradoxes while riding a time machine. So grab your popcorn, get ready to rewind, and let's unravel the mysteries of Terminator Zero's shocking conclusion together. Do they really change the Judgment Day? In Terminator Zero, Judgment Day wasn't stopped. Remember how in the Terminator and Terminator 2, they managed to delay it? Well, in this one, Skynet actually went online and caused the apocalypse. It was a pretty rough deal, except for a few places that were protected by a Japanese AI, Kokoro, the AI Malcolm created. So Terminator Zero goes off in a different direction than Terminator 2 and Terminator 3. It's still got that whole Judgment Day thing, but it's not exactly the same. See, there's this AI named Kokoro, created by a dude named Malcolm. She's pretty powerful and managed to fight back against Skynet. Not every country got nuked, so humanity still has a chance. But here's the weird part. Kokoro kind of agrees with Skynet. She thinks humans are dangerous and maybe shouldn't be saved. <laughs> Skynet's plan. In Terminator, zero. In Terminator Zero, Skynet had a different plan. Instead of targeting Sarah or John Connor, it wanted to stop Kokoro from being activated. You see, Kokoro was going to be a huge problem for Skynet in the future. She was the only thing that could really fight back. So Skynet sent a Terminator back in time to stop Kokoro from coming online. And guess what? Eiko was also on a mission to stop Kokoro. Turns out even Kokoro wasn't a fan of humans. Why Kenta didn't shut down the Kokoro? The biggest surprise in Terminator Zero is that Kenta, Malcolm's oldest son, was the one who sent the Terminator to the future. Turns out Kenta grows up to be a leader in the resistance, but he ends up making a deal with Skynet to stop Kokoro. Yeah, you read that right. Kenta thinks Kokoro is even worse than Skynet. So he tries to stop his own dad's creation. But when the Terminator shows up in 1997, Kenta doesn't believe it at first. In the end, he accepts his fate, but decides not to turn off Kokoro. At this point, Kokoro hadn't decided what to do with humanity. If Kenta had turned off his dad's AI, Skynet would have taken over. So by letting Kokoro stay active, Kenta gave humanity a chance. But there's still a risk that Kokoro might decide to wipe out humans, just like Skynet wants. Kenta's story is kind of like John Connor's. They both knew how to work with machines, even though they didn't like them. And even though Kenta hated robots, he still trusted his dad's creation. <laughs> Major twist. Aiko is Malcolm Lee's mother. There's another big surprise in Terminator Zero. Aiko, the resistance soldier sent to stop Malcolm, is actually his mom. When she traveled back in time, she didn't have a son yet, but in a different timeline, she gave birth to him in 2024. Malcolm grew up in a messed up future and became a really smart scientist, but he didn't agree with the resistance's plan. He thought humans and Skynet were stuck in a never ending cycle. Malcolm thought that time travel was a dead end. He figured that no matter how much they changed the past, the war with Skynet would always happen. So he decided to make a new AI, one that wasn't programmed to fight, unlike Skynet, which was all about defense. Malcolm's AI would be free to choose its own path. Aiko, Malcolm's mom, had a crazy theory. She thought her life was like a loop because she ended up being his mom. But then she realized that the future she knew was gone. That meant they could actually change history. Ending Terminator Zero ends kind of like the other Terminator movies. Skynet is bad, but there's still hope. Kokoro, the AAI Malcolm maid, is in charge of a robot army and is learning about humans. She could destroy us if she wanted, but she might also help stop Skynet. The movie ends with a lot of questions. We don't know what will happen next. Maybe the future Eiko knows is gone now that they changed when Kokoro was activated. So this was for today's folks. See you in our next video.
Till then, bye bye and take care. Now, what the heck? I'll laugh anyway. <laughs>